get here. This is you and me dressed up as Superman and Supergirl. This We're ripped. <laughs> No, um, that's Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Sorry about that, Ansel. Uh, uh, Made a mistake. It really is quite extraordinary. We have a very special guest with us, Nina Levy, along with her sons, Archer and Ansel. Nina is a full-time sculptor, but in the off hours, you're painting napkins with pretty spectacular results. How you doing? I'm fine, thanks. So was this a way to, the little napkins that you get mm -hmm. to your kids for in their school lunchbox? Yeah, I mean, it started out much more simply. I was just drawing them black sharpie on Archer's napkins when he went to school and nursery school when he was three and it has escalated over the last seven years. Uh, it's, so. it's tremendous. The only thing is uh, you wipe your mouth with the napkin. The uh, artwork be will be uh, yeah, it'll be soiled. I don't, uh, I don't wipe we don't wipe it. What you do you do? You save them? You save them? You used to. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, I used yeah. to. So what do you use to wipe your mouth now? I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> what about Ans what about you, Ansel? Nothing? Sleeve, maybe? What grades are you guys in? Um, I am I going... I was in kindergarten. He is going into first grade. And we I am a finished. fish, kind of, a, kind of a middle schooler, unlike some other schools. Fit. He's going into fifth grade. <laughs> it's a middle like school, middle school. So lower they, school they, they goes change. from kindergarten to so like Nina, I, I, it, the artwork is gorgeous, but I can't imagine that you would give this to your kids to go to school with because I, it really is. It is normal for us. So, yeah, like I said, it, it escalated slowly. Over I mean, the years, seriously, so. I'm. I would actually be surprised if if I didn't if, get anything. If I didn't get a napkin, because it's like something. It's like a pretty much something we always do. It's like, you know, kind of like I don't think we brushing did. your teeth or eating. How long does it take? How long, Nina, does this, uh, something, a creation like this take you? It really depends on what the image is and uh, how many dirty dishes I have to deal with in the evening. <laughs> so anywhere from a half an hour to a couple hours. And, a, and what, what? Um, well, as I was showing you guys before, for yes. Giant teddy bear. Uh, Greg and I with the giant teddy bear. These are so awesome. Come Thank you. Me. My goodness gracious. You made like 15 of these things. <laughs> yeah. that's that's that. That. Well, we're out of school this week, so we <laughs> got a little extra. So, Nina, <laughs> do, do the, Nina, do the kids like decide the night before what they want in their lunchbox? That it, usually we talk about it the mm. night before. It provides mm. a little sort of positive interaction after all of the bedtime hysteria. <laughs> <laughs> Does it yes. make going to school any better? No. Ansel wants to show something, right? What do you got? What is this? A molten lava dog chasing his tail. A multi lava dog a chasing its tail? Molten lava? Yeah. Let's go. That is, See now, this? Do any of the kids are any of the kids artistic um, as well? Can I can I continue on that thing? It, it Please. Is, <laughs> it, it, he is a Skylander called Hot Dog. He's a flaming a dog, pretty much a flaming dog. And anyway, so Skylanders. Oh, here's a yeah. Skylander. Oh, yeah. Published so, or something by Activision or something. Thanks, sure. Archer. So, <laughs> Nina, this is one. good because it kind of opens them up to other things. I mean, not only are you having fun and bonding right. time, but you're also teaching them about different things. It is, at this point, fairly driven by what they want to see. So, if anything, it helps keep me in touch with what they're interested in because it's sometimes hard to focus on individual Nina, you're video very, game characters. You're very <laughs> talented. Well, tell us... Uh, where did you learn? I mean, how did you get involved in art? I guess as a kid, you showed a lot of uh, promise and interest. Uh, Where'd you grow up? I'm diligent. Um, she I, grew up in Chicago. I Chicago. grew up in Chicago. <laughs> um, I did study visual art in college and graduate school, but mostly sculpture. So actually, it's taken me probably the last seven years to acquire yeah. some, uh, you know, look at us. skill at drawing on Listen, napkins. <laughs> if this is what your napkins so. look like, your sculptors have got to be incredible, incredible. right? What do you work I hope, with? I hope. So. What's your material? What do you like to work in? Um, yeah, I work in fairly traditional materials. She this makes point. tiny like, little sculptures. I like make this. bigger ones too. I love these. Another, kids. They're so another cute. thing is because this guy is called Tree Rex, and this guy this is, is a T Rex. Like they're all awesome. Archer is, so is, they're really like into that. it. I just want to know, can somebody commission you? Are you available? How do you make a, a living? Um, I mean, again, I'm a sculptor, and I, I do some teaching as well. But, um, do you have yeah. a website you like to promote? Uh, I do have a, a blog, which is Daily Napkins. Um, so if you <laughs> Google that, it comes up. Um, and, um, yeah, some people have approached me about commissions recently, and, I'm, and while I have only drawn for my children thus far, I'm sort of trying to work out how that 
might happen. Daily napkins. Yeah. Dailynapkins.com? Yes. Um, it's actually uh, under my name, but if you Google daily napkins, it does Nina come Levy. up easily. Thank yeah. you. Levy. Levy. Nina Levy. Yes. Thank you so much. Sure. Archer this. and, yeah, and Ansel. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. You kids are great. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Thank, thank you, Nina. Thank you All right. very much. When we come back, um, Mike should be getting in costume, and we're going to be talking about short shorts, yeah, right?